What should academic writing include? In this video, we will be looking at the most commonly basic structure of many types of academic writing. In the majority of cases, academic writing should include an introduction, a main body, and a conclusion. Introductions are important. It's the first thing your marker will read and it sets the tone for the rest of the work. Many people make the mistake of assuming the introduction and the conclusion sections are less important than the main body of the text, but this is not the case. It is advisable not to write your, in your introduction first. This is because writing the main body of the text will help to inform the information you need to set the context for your reader in your introduction. Your introduction should include background information. This will help you set the scene for the reader. This should be a more general statement about the topic with a wider context than the specifics of your essay question. What does your reader need to know in order to understand the rest of the essay? This should be a small part of your introduction. You should then introduce the reader to what aspects of the topic you are aiming to explore during the piece. This narrows the context towards your question. Finally, how do you intend to answer your question? It could be an analysis of literature on the subject. It may be primary research, such as an interview or survey, or a combination of approaches. Explain to your reader the process you went through to get to your conclusion. The main body of the text will contain the bulk of your work and discussion. It's the longest part of a written piece and the majority of your word count will be spent here. The main body will contain your response to the question in a clear, logical paragraph structure. In these paragraphs, you will outline your argument and discuss external sources that either support or negate it. External sources can be paraphrased or directly quoted, but it is important that you discuss and unpack why these are relevant to your discussion. Your main body should be written in a way to guide your reader through your argument. Your conclusion should bring your discussion to a close and answer the question you posed in your title and introduction. Now is the time to summarise the key themes and arguments that you've discussed in your writing. The conclusion is also an opportunity to highlight gaps in the literature as well as areas that could use further development or potential future research. When writing your conclusion, think about the main message you want your readers to take away. What are the most important parts of your research and how does this relate back to your question? When writing your conclusion, think about the main message you want your reader to take away. Despite being the last element of your writing, you may end up writing your conclusion before your introduction. Doing this can help inform your introduction as you will know the most important points of your work as well as the path you took on how to get there. If you're looking for more resources on academic writing, contact the library team and we'll be happy to point you in the right direction.